All right, I have a story I'm going to read to you today. And while we're reading, I want you to be thinking about the body parts of a chick. Because one of your jobs in Seesaw today is to go in and label the body parts of a chick. Okay? We've read um, a page from this book before, but we've never read the whole book. But it's called From Egg to Chicken. All right, and it is by Franklin Watts. Oh, I'm sorry, it's by Dr. Gerald Legg. And the pictures are illustrated by Carolyn Scrace. A chicken is a bird. All birds have feathers and two wings. Wings is gonna be one of the things you have to label. Chickens start life inside an egg. A chick egg hatches, a chick hatches from the egg and grows into a chicken. In this book, you can see the amazing life cycle unfold. The hen collects straw to make a nest. Then she will line the nest with feathers to make a soft bed. The nest is made of straw. A hen is a female chicken, so a girl. The hen lays her eggs in the nest. She lays several eggs at a time. Each egg holds and protects a baby bird. The egg also contains yolk, which provides food for the young chick. At first, the young chick is just a tiny dot called an embryo. As the embryo grows, it begins to look like a bird. The embryo lies in albumin a jelly-like substance which is soft and warm. The airspace at one end of the egg allows the chick to breathe. There's the embryo, there's the albumin, and here's the yolk. The hen is a good mother. She keeps her eggs safe and warm by sitting on them. She surrounds them with her soft feathers. This is called brooding. Every now and then, the mother hen turns the eggs to keep them warm all over. So my egg turner did that. Hens need to protect their eggs. Birds, foxes, lizards, snakes, and humans like to eat eggs. To get at the food inside, some animals bite and peck at the eggshell. Others smash it with stone. So there's a fox right there. After 21 days, the baby chick inside the egg starts to make a cheeping noise. This lets the mother hen know that her chick will hatch soon. The eggshell begins to crack. There we go, it says the eggshell cracks open and it labeled straw again. And ooh, feathers. The chick uses an egg tooth, a sharp part of its beak, to break out of the shell. When it first hatches, the chick is wet all over, but soon it dries out and looks like a fluffy yellow ball. So here it is, it's labeled egg tooth. And it's right on their beak. That's another part you'll have to label. The hen scratches around for food. The chick follows her. Older chicks are more brave, but they still stay near their mother. Chicks make a cheeping noise so their mother always knows where they are. Oh, there's its feet and its wings, its eye, and over here is its ear. As the chick gets older, new feathers grow. In a few months, the chick will look like its mother or father. A female chicken is ready to lay her first eggs when she's about 25 weeks old. So you'll start to notice our chicks in a couple days will start getting different feathers and I'll show you those when they start to come in. Um, but they get some bigger feathers that start to look like this. This is its comb, the little red part on top of its head. This type of chicken is called a bantam. It has a bright red comb on its head. Ooh, and here it lists a lot of chicken facts. And it also shows the different parts Different. This is what the egg looks like at two days, seven days, 13 days, 16 days, 20, and 21 days. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to read all the facts to you. 
just because of time, but you will go in Seesaw and you will label the parts of a chick, okay? You also should have one more word workbook, okay? You have used most of these. You'll use the one right here that says un and ab family. It's two word families in one, okay? So this is a sun. It's part of the un family. This is a cab. It's part of the ab family. And then we have a bun, a lab. Ooh, let's see if I can, and a nun, okay? And so those different pictures, you can cut them out and make the books. Again, we have a sun, cab, bun, lab, and a nun. Okay, so use those letters, cut them out, glue them down, and make your book. Those are your two jobs for literacy today. Have a good Tuesday.